Just want to put you behind the wagon, away from further danger. Mash go! Stand still, for God's sake! Oh, they managed to surround me. I'm not gonna give up so easy. Dang it! Fainted. Hey, excuse me. Sir, the three of them have gone. I hope they didn't hand them the skull. No, I just scared them away with some shots. Here's the darn thing. They'll never take it away from me now that I'm so, uh, so close. So close to what? To the Taltec treasure. Oh, look at this skull. It's pure gold. There are another two just like it. Is it really gold? Haven't you ever heard of them? Oh, come on. Give it back. Haven't I ever heard of who? Of the three skulls for crying out loud. No. Not until now. Don't you want to be rich? Who wouldn't? We could make a fortune by selling these skulls. I see you lack vision. The skulls are worthless compared to the lost Taltec treasure. They are the key to finding the treasure. So where are the other two skulls? Not far away. One of them is nearby. In a monastery. Under the protection of a brother Anselmo. The other... It's protected by the Apache. Be careful, especially with the so-called LeConte character. He's the one who sent One-Eyed Dixon and his fellows to rob me. LeConte is the colonel in charge of Fort Apache. There seem to be a lot of people involved. It's been years since the three skulls have been so close together. There's never been so much interest in them. I could find the missing skulls. If you could cut me in somehow. Oh, I've had quite a few partners, but they've all died from indigestion. I am a peddler. I have a fabulous hair lotion and a great elixir. Maybe you should have a drink in order to recover. Oh, that's a good idea. Hand me a bottle, will you? Is it working? Dim wet. Oh. Given me that hair lotion. Well, you did ask me for a bottle. I didn't know it was the wrong one. Well, I'd better get out of here before those guys come back. Better not forget the skull, though. Boys, get the skull. He doesn't need it anymore. Look. Dex, it's pure gold. Let's see. Hand it over. Uh -uh, I found it first. And I'm the boss. Hand that over. How much will the pay us for that? A lot. He says that it's of great sentimental value to him. <laughs> Brother 
Anselmo. It looks like that old Baylor's wagon. Darn that man. Let's see. Oh dear. We'll have to be careful. They stole the skull from this idiot. They also killed him, Brother Anselmo. Don't bore me with insignificant details, Brother Fatty. And don't start with the professional ethics stuff, either. All I'm saying is that somebody should bury this man. Christian charity is always required to some degree. Don't you understand that we have no time for that? I'm in no hurry. You're never in a hurry, brother. Except when the dinner bell rings. Brother Anselmo, don't even mention food. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your abstinence from food, Bob. Let's drop these discussions. Now we must... Bury this poor sinner. No. We will first look for the skull that was stolen from him, and then... Then we will bury the peddler? I think we should do that first. All right, Brother Fatty. Bury him. I'll wait for you in big time. All Brother Anselmo thinks about are those skulls. They will be our ruin. Oh, well, I suppose I had better start digging. <laughs> 